With the recent release of the NVIDIA RCX 50 series GPUs, for many of you this year is the year of the upgrade. But with the excitement of component shopping, it can be easily forgotten how important the PSU is. So let us help by showcasing Corsair's current range of power supplies and things to consider for your build. Knowing what wattage you need to run your PC is the first step, and whilst all of your components may suggest ideal PSU wattage, you should mainly take notes of what the manufacturer of your graphics card recommends, as this is the most power-hungry part of your build. So for instance, an RTX 5090 will need a 1000 watt PSU. You'll then need to consider the size of PSU that your case can fit, which will likely be small form factor or SFX, or ATX, which is the standard size. You also need to consider the PCIe support of the power supply, and for best performance, you'll need to make sure it's compatible with the GPU's PCIe generation. For instance, 40 series cards are PCIe 4, and 50 series cards are all PCIe 5. So starting with the smallest of the range, the latest Corsair SFX series comes in wattages ranging from 750 watts through to 1000 watts and an 80 plus platinum certified too. Being a current Corsair power supply, they of course feature a fully modular interface, which we now come to expect. It's fully ATX 3.1 and PCIe 5.1 compliant, making it a no-brainer for a beast of an ITX system, pairing it with something like an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090. Stepping up to the first of the ATX power supplies, we have the Corsair RM series. These really are the gold standard when it comes to power supplies, as they've proven over the years to be incredibly reliable and affordable. We've had over 10 years of the RM series, and for good reason. Corsair has, of course, improved the RM over time and added features such as 80 plus and Cybernetics Gold certification, ATX 3.1 and PCIe 5.1 compatibility. They also feature a low noise 140 mm fan with a zero RPM mode to keep it running silently. And if you wanted to adjust the fan speed manually, you can use the handy control knob. Similar to the SFX series, the RM series also starts at 750 watts, rising up to 1200 watts, making it a perfect fit for pretty much any build. And the introduction of the RM shift line sees the modular interface move to the side of the power supply. If you paired this with a compatible case such as the Corsair Frame 4000, it would make later upgrades much easier as you wouldn't have to root around trying to find the connector you need to power your new parts. Then there's the Corsair H. XI series. These use top tier components reflected in the 80 plus and cybernetics platinum certifications rather than the gold of the lower RM models and it's also backed by a 10 year warranty. Starting at 1000 watt however does alienate some who just don't need that much power for their system but if you want the best of the best or are going to be building a more exotic system with custom water cooling or a top of the line workstation then the HXI would be a perfect addition. Featuring plenty of I.O. including three EPS 12 volt power connectors and for high-end processors and PCIe 5.1 support for the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 50 series as well as a connector for pretty much anything else you can throw at it. Simply put, if you want to have as small a PC as possible then the SF series is the way to go. Not that many ITX cases will fit a full-sized ATX power supply, so your options are a bit limited, but as mentioned, the RM series would be the one most people opt for. The features such as the modular interface and zero RPM mode make it perfect for the majority of systems without breaking the bank. And for the workstations or the showcase systems that need a lot of stable power, the HXI series, in short, is the best power supply that you can currently get from Corsair. So if you have a need for the extra power or just want to install your PSU and forget about it for years, knowing it will be a dependable workhorse, look no further. So there you have it, a look through the range of the latest Corsair power supplies and an idea of what you should be looking for when shopping for a new unit. So are you looking to upgrade to one of the power supplies showcased today? Or maybe you've already got one. Let us know in the comments and hit the like if you found this video helpful. Also check out the link in the video description to browse the Corsair power supplies mentioned at scan.co.uk.